Hello dear students. Today I am going to discuss the first 8 questions of the 2020 ACES final exam chemistry question paper. Uh, let's start the video. The first question is when temperature of a solution increases then what happens? The options are given below. To do the answer of this question we have to know what is molarity and what is molality we know that molarity is equal to moles of solute divided by total volume of the solution since volume is directly proportional to temperature that is why as temperature increases the volume also increases since molarity is inversely proportional to volume that is why as temperature increases the molarity of a solution decreases on the other hand molality is equal to moles of solute divided by mass of the solvent in kg since mass of a substance does not depend on temperature that is why molality does not sense senses with temperature therefore the correct answer of this question is when temperature of a solution increases then molarity decreases and molality does not sense the option is not given actually here next question is depict a galvanic cell in which the reaction takes place further so which of the electrode is negatively charged the reaction is given here since here zinc oxidizes and silver gets reduced hence the galvanic cell can be represented as Zn by Zn2 positive salt breeze Zn Az2 positive by Az here the zinc is anode that is why zinc electrode is negatively charged the third question is what is observed when a beam of light is passed passed through a colloidal solution the answer of this question is very easy when a beam of light is passed through a colloidal solution then scattering of light is observed this is known as the Tyndall effect this scattering of light illuminates the part of the beam in the colloidal solution next question is which form of the iron is the purest form of commercial iron the answer of this question is wrought iron next question is arrange the following in the order of increasing bond dissociation enthalpy the increasing order is this cl2 greater than br2 greater than f2 greater than i2 as we know bond dissociation energy is really decreases on moving down a group as the atomic size increases however the bond dissociation energy of fluorine is lower than that of chlorine and bromine this is due to the small atomic size of fluorine thus the increasing order for bond dissociation energy among halogens is as Cl2 greater than Br2 greater than F2 greater than I2 
next number 6 question is out of this and this which is more reactive towards SN1 reaction and why the right answer is this because it is it is a secondary alkyl alkyl halide this is a secondary alkyl halide and secondary alkyl halide is more reactive towards SN1 reaction than primary next question is write a Reimer, Reimer TMN reaction this is the Reimer TMN reaction uh, in Reimer TMN reaction phenol reacts with chloroform and potassium hydroxide and forms orthohydroxybenzaldehyde this is the reaction the reaction is this one next question number eight arrange the following compounds in increasing order of their acid strand this is the increasing acid strand of the compounds 2 methyl propanoic acid is least acidic after that butanoic acid after the 3 bromo butanoic acid and most acidic is 2 bromo butanoic acid that's all for today uh, today i have discussed only question number 1 to 8 which carries only one mark each later on i shall upload all the answers of this question paper that is chemistry 2020 question paper thank you